Uh, hello friends, and welcome to the stream that I'm doing right now. This is Zero Ranger, it's a video game. Um, to be more specific, it's a... It's a shmup. You can see the playtime down there says I've played for three hours so far. And I think that only really counts the time in-game. I'm not entirely sure, and I think I have to turn down the music a little bit. At least according to my little peaks, it seems like it's much louder than me talking. But, you know, let me know if you can't hear me properly or anything. I can chill. still um, adjust it. Plus, I don't want to turn it down too far because the music in this game is actually pretty good. Let us actually start. This is a... I mean, it's a really cool game, actually. I mean... I watched Real Soviet Bear stream it yesterday. I tuned in midway through, and I was so sold on what I saw that I bought it immediately. And then I saw what happened later, and I was sad I couldn't buy the game a second time. And then I played it and was sad I couldn't, like... You know, buy it a third time. It just scratches all of my itches, basically. You know, let's just hop right in. Hopefully have some, some fun, a good time. Very arcadey. I mean, you can tell, like, this game doesn't even have, like, an entry on Twitch. So I had to set my play the category game thing to, to retro. It came out, like, a couple days ago, and it's still on sale. Like, it's 10% down, which puts it to roughly 10 bucks. And I highly recommend it, because it's so good. I hope we'll be able to to see why I think it's so great. Because right now it just seems like a run off the mill schmuck. Except for the you know visual style right now, there's really not much to it, to be quite honest. But the visual style is really cool. Like it has two colors and black and white, a and it's still like really like it it's really readable. Like, really easily readable, actually. I haven't really, um... encountered these situations that you often encounter in shmups where... you will get hit by something, but because everything is so visually noisy, you won't be able to tell... what's happening anymore. Oh yeah, and this game, um... is a love letter to shmups. Uh, as you can tell here, this is basically the Big Viper. <laughs> um... And, and even though there's, like, blatant references like this... Uh... And the game is very referential, it still has its own identity. Which is very important to me, because it was just like some referential shmup love letter, I wouldn't care nearly as much as I do. And sometimes it might be hard to focus on speaking while... rather explaining things while I'm playing, but... Ah well, there I died to the first boss. My eternal shame. Actually, this has happened before. Like, we're not really on a life system, really, but more like health, I guess? I mean, they weren't exactly like lives in the And uh, now we get to pick a power up. Let's kill with that one. I haven't used that one in a while. I prefer the other one, which is a sideways shot. This one shoots backwards. There's two types of ships, uh, both have, like, all the power-ups, but they work a little differently. I might use the other ship later on, if I feel like it. I just like this one much better. And, like, I love that, like... I mean, you won't be able to tell yet, but... No matter what power-up you pick, there are situations where they will be very, very, very useful. Like, much more useful over the other one. Like, I can't kill the thing to the left there, but I could with a sideways shot. Or, well, I can't kill it back like this. Huh. Go figure. Sometimes you just have to go at it from a different angle, literally. Yeah, this level is already considerably harder than the previous one. It's also a completely different style of shmup level, one with, you know, obstacles. Thankfully, flying into them doesn't kill you. Actually, flying into most enemies doesn't kill you either. Uh, you say Ikaruga, uh, I say Downwell, actually. I mean, Downwell is, um, oh, uh, wait, my controller is dead? 
Um, did I click somewhere? Oh, well, that was weird. Thankfully, this is not too bad that I died because for some reason I apparently had the window out of focus all of a sudden. Because the game's very generous to you. Uh, you don't have to restart the game if you die. Even if it was all your continues, you don't have to restart the entire game. Unless you want to, which is what I'm doing right now for the show, you know. For the point of showing the game. Otherwise, I just start somewhere in the middle. I still hope I get relatively far without, you know, using continue, because, hey, that's part of the game, really. You don't have to 1cc it, but... 1cc being a 1 credit clear for those not in the know, but... You don't have to, it's usually the end goal of a shmup. But again, it's just a thing that you don't really have to do. You are, of course, encouraged to do so. The game does encourage you. In fact, I think we all got to see this very literal encouragement. This is our type. This is, like, literally our type. It's just called different. It's called our type. And there you go. This is what happens if you die. You get to continue, and the checkpointing is incredibly generous, because we're right here at the boss again. Isn't that nice? I lose all my score, but then again, there's kind of a persistent, like, uh, progress system, depending on score, and that doesn't get lost, actually. Oh, uh, this is suddenly very hard when I have to talk while I'm doing it. Yep, this is going well. Let me, uh, try something different and actually focus. Or type, okay. Oh, that's what the music is called. I think the ship is called something else. Alright, there we go. That's... our... Typo. Well, okay, I can deal. And the sideways shot would be much better for this section, for reasons that uh, might be obvious already. But it's doable. The game doesn't screw you over like that. It's fairly nice, actually. I don't want to shoot those crates because they actually will explode into bullets. You could tell because they have arrows on them and the bullets would go into the, uh, the direction the arrows are in. Makes sense. And these enemies in the background, they can actually be killed. It's just I can't do it with my current weapons. But if they kill in the background, that just basically means they won't show up in the foreground later. Which can still be nice. But it's never necessary. Uh, this is the uh, proper second boss. Oh, well, there we go. and I'm dead, but I should be able to do this. This boss isn't very difficult, I just have to die twice. In fact, I think this boss is easier than the than the first one. And there we go. We win. Alright, what do I pick? This is, on the right is a charge shot, on the left is a lock-on system, kind of like in in that one game that I like, Crimson Clover, but there's other games that have that. Just that's the game I saw it in first. It's not very good in this game because you can't... I mean, it takes a bit long to lock on, but it's good for actually killing these enemies in the background. And this level is probably where shit gets real.
Oh boy, thanks for hosting a bear. Actually, I have mentioned Bear earlier, because he's the one who got me into this game. I should use the lock on. Kill these guys in the background. Oh, I missed a bonus. My oh, bad. Oh, hello there, squares. There is, in fact, shmup happening. It's probably blatantly obvious. I wonder what the source of these lasers might be. Ah, oh, there we go. Ooh, that was uh, a close call. Wait, did they already kill it? I never killed this thing that fast, holy shit. I guess I'm finally good at the game. Oh, is there a shot I missed? Oh well. Oh, well, I completely wasted the extra life I just got. Which makes me kind of glad that it doesn't really matter that much if I die. Because again, I just get a very generous checkpoint. In. Oh, I got another extra life. I almost didn't notice. Man, this is kind of intense. With the backward shot, I can just kill these projectiles, that's nice. Ah, uh, yes. If you read the text on screen, you might already have an inkling of what's gonna happen soon. <laughs> Are you an anime fan by any chance? Well, that's that's it. I'm dead forever. I can just continue though. Well, Scruffy, <laughs> you might be correct. I shouldn't uh, dodge into the bullets because this isn't the hard part yet. That was been clever. Evidently not. Oh, oh, what? Ah, oh, that that sucks. I thought I had him. <laughs> oh, like he had like one magic pixel left. Like that's like I was off guard there. I should have him this time though. Just gotta remember to not talk while playing, because that makes things easier. Oh, it's already um uh... oh, damn it. But you have to kind of break his his ads in order to damage him first, like that breaks the shield. And then he's like damage it before a while. Alright, one more round. Oh, there we go. So, I got a choice now. I can take a sword, 
which with my ship kind of it, it's underwhelming, but actually it's kind of good. But I'm gonna go for the drill because that's easier. I like it better. And just, this is exactly what sold me on the game. And yeah, the flamethrower is really cool. But the uh, other uh, side weapon that it could, uh, instead of that, is actually kind of better. We are a mech, and we have a drill, and we will pierce the heavens. Yes, yes, squares. That was exactly my... My thoughts when I first uh, saw this on their stream. Just just a nice section that really benefits from having like a melee weapon. But oh no, it has eyes. Fucked up. Ah oh, damn it, I shouldn't die. Anyway, there's like a, a drill hole in there. If you have the sword, you just cut the entire ship in half. And you get to switch between mech form and um and regular form. I like at will. It rules. And this level is where shit really gets real. It's uh, it, it's the final stage, but it's comprised of like a couple of stages. Ah, this is so awesome! Just. Right now they still want you to figure out how to use the drill or your sword, depending on what you get. Oh, this is the boss! Yeah, it's just, like... Yeah. That's just what we do now. This was the last boss, and now it's a normal enemy. This is extremely rad. Uh, yes, um, all the weapons work different depending on your ship. Like, there's only two ships. Maybe a third one that, uh, I don't know, might have to be unlocked at some point. Now they all turn kind of into Buddha heads. Music is so awesome. Oh, this is the last section before the boss of this segment, so I hope I don't die. I mean, not that it matters, I'll just get a checkpoint. Look, if you meet the Buddha on the road, kill him. Easy as that. Ah, uh, I was almost the end. But this doesn't matter because they start right there. I still should try not to die. That would be extremely helpful. Especially since I'm on one of my last continues. Which doesn't matter because I get to restart the start of the level anyway. Actually, yeah. That was my last continue, so I could restart at the start again. 
And again, this level is comprised of like, I want to say four stages. Oh yeah, this is the persistent upgrade thingamajig. Depending on score, you get like more continues. All right, um, let's use the other ship. And use the sword instead of... And let's use this... Yeah, let's use the sideways shot, I guess. I have never seen that on that ship. I guess that's all right. It's just the, uh, like, B-type ships, like, look way more fancy. Ah, the sword, yeah. I wish deflecting bullets with a sword was good. But it's kind of not. Aw, oh, damn it, I get hit there. Because it's really hard to avoid everything here. It's fine, I got an extra life and they immediately lost it. Check it out, cut the entire ship in half. I love this so much. This isn't even the best part, is the thing. It gets way better later on. I should just shoot him. Like, that's just way easier with these guys. Oh, and yeah, the uh, main baddie of the uh, game is called Green Orange. Come on, don't fly away from me. Also, the colors in this game are green and orange, now that I think about it. Rip. Again, just before I, I reach the end there, ah well. But now I have so many continues, there's no way I don't make it. Skulls everywhere. Like, it's just really satisfying to tear through everything here and get all the points forever. Fucking music. It's called Unstopping. That's why. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I shouldn't kill those. Right, I forget. Oh 
you can get those in half too. Fuck yeah. Oh damn it. I got too greedy. With my my sword. And basically these enemies only really damage you if they like push you against a wall. I think that's how it works. More or less. I got three bonuses. Cool. Like I like the um, the B ships um, sideways shot way better. Like this just it seems weak. I'm not sure if it is. Like the B ships, maybe the B ships are stronger in general. I don't even know. Maybe this is kind of a difficulty selection? I wouldn't be able to tell you. Then again, I don't think... I feel I don't feel like I'm disadvantaged or anything. So I kind of doubt that. And oh yeah, right, we are in the organic part of the level now. There are several schmucks without meat space. <laughs> but um, it's not like I'm gonna complain. I hate these stupid balls. Maybe soon you will learn why. Oh, that's why. Exactly. I mean, that's one reason. Another skull. With an eye in his forehead. Opening the third eye, gotta kill it. The fire would be really good for this. If those things don't directly kill you, they're not like normal bullets. They just kind of push you around, I think. Or maybe the ones with the trail do kill you, I don't even know. Ah, oh, fuck it. Ah, oh, damn it. But hey, I get to restart it right there. The only, like, problem I have with this is that I, uh... I don't get to change my chip up again because I like the other one way better. Maybe dodging is actually better <laughs> than uh, because you don't have to dodge these. You can get hit by these. It's just they, uh, you know, they push you against the the edge of the screen and that kills you. Or if they hit you too much, I think they also damage you. I am not entirely clear on how they work, uh, because that one clearly killed me. Oh fuck. Please I could swear this is easier with the other ship.
But the other ship kind of has a wider, um, like, attack radius, I guess. This one is the focus shot one. But I guess does more damage in general. Ah, damn it. It's worth a shot. Like, how do... Uh, okay, this is not that great. Uh, the other ship has a a charge up for the shot uh, for the sword, which is great. All right, this is phase two. Just balls everywhere. Everything's fine. Nothing's gonna be wrong ever. I got one more. Um, oh shit. Well, that's it. Please continue. Okay, I have two continues left. If I lose them again, I'll switch to the other ship again, because it's. I don't know, it just feels uh, better to me. God damn it. Yeah, the, the thing is, like, I, I use the sword and the drill way too less, or way too little. Plus, it's like you really put yourself in harm's way. Like, I got hit just there. There we go. Maybe I'll even make it, because there's one more thing I have to do. Well, several things, but... <laughs> this next bit is the last one. Like the last section of the first loop. The final boss-ish thing. So embarrassing. I've never seen this one before. Oh no, I have. The salamander. Kind of like, you know, life force. Because basically you have to uh, fight a number of bosses here. Not necessarily all of them. But I really should have... Um, I really absolutely should have actually... Uh, I don't know, like, used my sword from there. Ah, I get two extra lives. Very generous of you, video game. I think these uh, things all give you extra lives. In reasonable amounts. Like, I got two just there. I think one from killing the boss and one from... I like my score. Oh, I'm glad this happened. Uh, I, 
I don't want to do the, the hard thing. I just want to do the thing. If you shoot him instead of doing that, he uh, gets mad at you. And you basically have to do the Sans fight from Undertale. But if you know what to do, this is basically your freebie. Yes, wisdom. But, oh no, we are torn away. Ah, oh, Space Invaders. I like this one. This is neat. Oh, fuck. I need to die. I'm just gonna shoot because that seems easier. And then you can use the UFO to kill the things. Oh man, so much of humanity died just now. Extra life, at least. I think I need to do one more. I think I need to fight four bosses. I use three. Ah, here we are. I'm sure this is a reference to a shmup, but I can't quite put my finger on it. It looks like Guardian Legend to me, but it might be. Uh, might have uh, its roots elsewhere. Ah, oh, damn it! Cannot die now. It is forbidden. It is a love letter to Schmaus, but it still has its own identity, and that's why I love the game. And what a good planet is. And here we get to see some shmups. I this is I forget, this might be Space Invaders. Yes. Bird. Hey, hey, please, Bird, don't be rude to me. I mean, the plan is not quite self destruction. <laughs> uh. It will become apparent in a second. It's a second loop. The game is much harder now. Um, and it's not quite as samey as you might think. It's not exactly a second loop in the traditional sense. It mixes it up considerably more than that. Basically, the game story is not over yet. It continues.
And I get to keep my weapons and everything. Look, you see Big Viper in the background there. I was actually also there the first around uh, the time around we went through here. First launch the same, although I could swear it was a bit um, faster and fires more bullets, which you know makes sense. This entire first boss looks different now. Um, it didn't have the skull or tail before. Just gonna redo the level then. Wow, so low on the scoreboard. Like when I finished the game for the first time, I had as many continues as I have now. Um, I just have as many as I have now on my second file because, well, I, I started from the beginning every time I tried, basically. Because, hey, I wanted to. Let's, uh, I guess look at the intro, because we haven't seen it before yet. In fact, I'm not even sure I've seen it before. Here it is. People died. This is definitely different than the uh, intro I saw the first time around. It reminded me quite a bit of Evangelion. With the weird monster that looks like an angel from, from NGE and uh, Crosses. Alright, let's start again. Um, on the stage, like you can see, um, we have 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, and so on now. That's a, that's a loop. Let me switch to my beloved Type B again, and... Sword or Drill. I like both, but Drill is easier to use. And yeah, let's go with that, I guess. I could go with Fire, but... Eh, okay, let's go. Let's do, do this. I like this, this shot more, that it, uh, I think it looks like a more powerful ship, which is, with everything it does, like, with, with this and... It's much easier to kill stuff now, I guess. Maybe it's just because I'm more used to this, I don't know. Like, these lightning things are a bit weaker than the flames, but if you go, like, inside and hit with all four of them, it's really brutal. Oh, damn it. 
Ah, oh, I didn't see that shot. Somehow. I mean, I saw it, but I saw it too late. And now that I had to restart, I have all my continues again. Double KO. Keep your cool. But ah, that's not all. Now every boss gets a... A second face, basically. And this one doesn't have a proper boss health bar, but... Just know it's serious shit, because... Look at it. Switch weapons now, or because you can't destroy them. Let's see what happens if you destroy both of them. Please don't tell me I, I lose the weapon they have on me right now. <laughs> uh, that would suck. Oh no, I still have it. Good, because that would really piss me off now if I didn't have my my extra shot. The sidewash is really good for this level too. Oh, man. These guys now shoot these. Uh, I guess they're supposed to be bullet casings that they also fire as bullets. They kind of fall away in a way that implies that. Or maybe I'm just uh, overthinking things. Or maybe I'm just dead. Please continue. That was the first continue I used, so that's okay. But yeah, the game is much harder now. Like, considerably harder. It's kind of... Kind of nuts. Like, just to compare them. But it, it makes sense because um, it leaves... Uh, it continues where the uh, first loop uh, left off. And given that it's actually the game continuing with a proper second loop, yeah, it makes sense. Kind of plays around with uh, shmup conventions like this. Also very easy with the uh, backwards shot, but you know, I like the sideways one. Look, I have the choice of either killing those things or not. Actually, I should use my, my mech form. Because <laughs> that seems uh, to make more sense. Ah, uh, well, I switched away from it just to die. Gonna kill the drills with drills. I don't think I can actually do this with a with a drill because it's it's the R type. Oh, I don't think I have this like wall fire attack. I'm not nearly as many of these. Oh shit! Yeah, didn't have this in the one. God damn it, but hey, I do get a restart here. Oh, for some reason I... well... This would have to look away for a second, because your phone vibrates.
Oh, I can't drill these? Huh. I thought I could. Maybe it was too late, I don't know. It takes a moment to come out. God damn it. For some reason the attacks give me more trouble than they used to. Please continue. Again! God damn it, I'm so smart. Well, now I'm just on tilt, apparently. Okay. This time, I'm gonna do it, though. Or not. He's collecting things. Yeah, there's a, a bit of a treasury wipe from this game, for sure. Maybe I can get good now. Reminder that I beat this before, <laughs> just in case you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't either, um, not with this performance. No, no, I definitely wouldn't believe myself. Give this one more honest try. I just don't remember this being that bad, despite it being the second loop. Wow, Axe, that's incredibly rude. I'm gonna have to ban you. Actually, I'm not gonna ban you. I'm too lazy for that anyway. Maybe switch to the sword. Wait, I'm not using it anyway, so what's the point? <laughs> I'm just gonna switch to the sword just cause I can. Why not? I haven't shown the sword yet. Like not the not the one of this ship anyway. Of course I get hit right away. And thankfully, uh, the geometry doesn't actually hurt you. Because that would suck. Like, one more thing to, to pay attention to. And with the stuff that's going on already, that's pretty, um, well, oops. See, the thing is, now it doesn't matter if I die, because it just restart. Actually, Please yeah, I know. Something's wrong with me. I really gotta get good again. I'm losing my edge. Either that or it's way past midnight for me. I had an extra life at some point because I still have um, two health. Or two lives, rather. This is how you're supposed to do that section, by the way. It's just I did it wrong this entire time.
Oh, there was a shop there, apparently. Now we're here again. Death everywhere. I try to avoid killing those things. Ah, oh, damn it. I tried to pass and charge up my... my sword. Okay, this time, I'm serious. I also don't have any life, so I have to lose one life. If I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> At all. Man, these three things, they always kind of hit me. Like, one of them at least. these shots. Like, they screw me up no matter what mob I'm playing. Like, these curving shots. They're always the worst. Oh god, I'm alive. I'm totally gonna do this though, I swear. Ah, oh, there we go. See, I told you. Just gonna die to regular choppers then, huh? Why not? That's how I find this video game. Ah, okay. Please continue. Well, okay. I did beat this before, you know? <laughs> like, this entire second loop. Except for the very end part. Like, not the true final boss even, just something that comes after that. I think. I don't even know. It's kind of hard to tell. Because this game, um... It does some interesting things with your expectations. I'm just gonna kill all these things. I know they spawn bullets, but I don't care. Yes, now this boss has teeth. Isn't that cool? If you don't appreciate teeth, you won't appreciate this boss. Because the uh, loop 1 version didn't have teeth, to say the least. Well, of course I get hit just the moment I... I kill it. Or pull its first face. Because now we're getting serious. Oh shit, uh, having the uh, fire for this is actually much better. Uh, I should I should have brought the fire, <laughs> definitely. Shooting backwards is invaluable in this fight, it just trivializes it. Oh, let's try to do it anyway. See, this is the problem. Ah, uh, well. Please continue. 
Okay, I have uh, two continues. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can do this, like, because this fight is actually kind of difficult. Without the, um, thing. Um, wait. Like, I don't think I can actually do anything with the hands. Apparently I can, but what does it do? I don't fully understand. Oh, it damages considerably, holy shit. Okay, this changes everything. This makes the side wish actually kind of good for this. I just focus on those things. Ah, fuck. Was filled up. It does damage is really good, and I'm just charging into. I have to be careful now, because I'm just charging into. <laughs> well. Everything. Ah, well, that's it. Or do I have one more? No, I don't. Well, and with that, all that's left is to give up. I mean, I'm not gonna give up just yet, but uh, this is the end of the stream anyway, because... Just gonna shut off the game real quick. And uh, if you like what you saw by the game, it's it's out. It's been out for like a few days now, but it's still fairly new. And it's like 10 bucks. And uh, like it, it just continues uh, where we left off now. Like there's more game. It's not just a simple second loop, it's it's actually kind of a continuation of, of the first loop. As you could probably tell by our transition from the first into the second. But you know, I'm, I'm talking too much about this. Just, just get the game. If you liked at all what you saw there, go, go buy it. 10 bucks. It's gonna be a good time. And with that said, thanks for watching everybody. Um, Hope to see you again next time. When I maybe play more video game. Maybe even this game, I don't even know. But yep, see you uh, uh, later, I guess.